Augie, I gave you a little task before the show. I've avoided this subject until now, but I thought I should keep an open mind. So we asked you to swat up on the Kings League, which of course is Jared Piquet's seven-a-side league, which he set up. Uh, it's supposed to be for the next generation. They had their final at the Camp Now. They drew a sellout 92,000, more than 2 million viewers for this game on Twitch, which I think is pretty remarkable. Is this the future? Do you like it? Tell us about it. You say you gave me a task. It was more like a punishment. I think it was, you know, look at this. And it's, um, yeah, listen, you can't knock it. There's a big audience for it. People aren't paying to watch it. They watch it on Twitch. And I think the money is being made by the, the sponsors that have been attracted to, to PK. You know, uh, watch brands, for instance, which, which he used to his advantage with the whole Shakira thing, which is quite funny. But it's a bit weird. It's a bit of a circus, to be honest. It's it's. Um, you don't like the gimmicks, like getting the owners to take penalties and like the wearing, goals worth twice. Mystery and... players wearing masks, that sort of thing. No, no. Listen, but I can't knock it if there's an audience for it. I think if, if, if young people are thinking it's entertaining, you know, my lad is is a teenager. He he watched it a little bit. I don't think he's a massive fan of it, but he's aware. Did you of make it. him do it? <laughs> Had he heard of it before? He had heard of it, yeah. Oh, he was right. surprised that I was asking. It was like, you know, why are you asking this old man? You know? <laughs> <laughs> but um, I don't think it's the future. I think it's obviously got a, a little bit of a niche, but it's it's different, and it's it it's almost like turning the game on its head in the sense that it's 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 taking it doesn't take itself very seriously. Obviously, you know, it's it's just. It's football, but not as we know it, shall we say. I, I think you're coalescing a lot of brands, all our social media following. In fact, Neymar supposedly will, will they made this ad where, like, you know, where, where Neymar, like, sort of, uh, he's going to own a team next year. They had their clever campaign to show how, like, Neymar acquired a team. Yeah. Like, I mean, more power to them. But I, as we I, know, is it, you said Florentino Perez has, has suggested that fans aren't. Yeah, let's not go back and bash spending, Florentino over the, the not, head. They're not prepared to watch a 90 minute game. And it, this is probably taking it to an extreme of condensing it down to a much smaller level. Yeah. But, uh, it's not something that I'd go out of my way to watch, but, you know, I'd, I'd try it right. for, okay. you know, for the experience. Anyway, talking of Neymar, didn't he lose a million euros playing poker? This is really funny how I just bring this up because uh, uh, the mainstream media, we, and I, I'm going to be curmudgeon, do your freaking research, right? So Neymar puts out a video of himself. I think it might have even been live and, like, he's playing... He's pretending he's playing poker on uh, online, supposedly pretending or not with real money, as we now know. And then he's crying and stuff. Oh my God! I just lost a million euros. Blah blah blah. What are we gonna do? Which you know, it occurred to me that, based on how much money Neymar makes a year, mm. um, that's still a good chunk of change, right? It would still hurt us if we lost proportionally, right? Um, but then, of course, he didn't really. None of it is real. It turns out that you know this was all just. Uh, a publicity ploy for this online gaming company that he's involved in. I don't have a problem with it, but guys, do we really think Neymar is so sad, is so much of a sado that he's going to go and gamble away a million euros online, film himself doing it, and then cry on camera? But like, this is really? Neymar. This is Neymar, isn't it? None of it's real with Neymar. It just all seems a little <laughs> bit, you know, what is real and what isn't? What, what is truth and what is fiction with Neymar? We just don't know, and it's it's a shame that if this great talent that he has, if he's remembered for all the the jokey stuff and pretending to lose a million euros on, on poker. I just wish I could remember him for playing football and winning some trophies, oh, which he did, it. which he's he gonna, did. He's going to break Pele's goal-scoring record, and that's really going to impress you as well. How taking? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> right, uh, that brings us to an end. Augie, thank you so much for uh, stepping in in Jules' absence. Uh, we're going to be back on Monday because it's massive. <laughs> Dare Classicer, folks. Look out for it. And, of course, Jules will be back too. Until then, uh, love the game. Love your neighbor. Love yourself. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.